sale with another auction sale, thrift shopping, and yard sailing. Um, I've had a great run this summer as you can watch all of the other videos on how lucky and what great finds I found. Sometimes, uh, but overall I think uh, it was a great summer. Even uh, treasure dumpster diving or trash picking was really great too. I did not do too many of those this summer. Um, it seems like either it was raining or people just didn't clean out their garage because they did it all last year during COVID. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And the first one I'm going to do is um, on Friday after work, I saw a sign that says huge family sale. And I went by and they had two different families, one in the garage outside and one in the basement. Um, they had a lot of things however upstairs i didn't really see anything then i went downstairs and that's when i found some of my treasures um an entire bag of wooden uh, spools which you all know that i love and i love when i find them they wanted three dollars they marked it down to a dollar fifty and then the second bag um of wooden spools again so i three dollars half price so it was a dollar fifty so for three dollars i got myself two huge bags of wooden spools have not gone through them yet i see that some are painted green um a rare find for me i've never seen those the next items i love to collect are aprons i have a few of them um there this one was uh 25 cents i think she gave me a deal on all of them couple of little stains but it's not a big deal for me this one I thought it was super cute it's a little kids one and you can tell that these are somebody made these with a lot of love here is one that has um, a top to it how cute is that so vintage looking love love it and uh, still has a tissue ew, in the pocket <laughs> and this one here another kids one and this one i thought it was kind of neat because they used two color patterns to do the um cord maybe they just needed to add and they said well we'll just add a little bit more fabric because they ran out but i thought it was kind of cute and the last one love 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 they have a little top to it and how you would attach this is you would use two pins to tie it up here and then you just tie it around your waist um probably a very petite woman wore this one so those were the aprons that i picked up at this yard sale now the one thing that super shocked me that they were selling um and they wanted $2 and then they changed the price. It came with the box and it is this beautiful, they even have the little slip to go under. It is a christening gown. She said that the family wore this, but nobody wanted it to put in a frame and they just wanted to let it go. Broke my heart because I saw a younger generation there and I thought, you know, one day maybe, but I was not going to talk to them out of selling it they had made up their mind once they put the tag on so that was that little yard sale that i stopped just to pick up a few things i didn't even think i was going to find anything and it was like four dollars for all of that so not a bad deal um just real quick some also some books that i picked up i love these uh, paper dolls this is the uh, great fashion design of the 20s paper doll in color there's this is not vintage it's a newer book but i just wanted to pick it up i thought it was cute these were dollar each and i love of course the grinch for your dr seuss book and it's a limited edition one so i picked it up for a dollar so not too bad now let's jump into um Remember I talked to you about the, sis the Sunflower Sister, the store is closing. I picked up a few more items, but I think I already put those away. But they, they were selling some pillows. I just thought this is from the Pioneer Woman. And I picked this up because I just thought I love the colors, um, especially for uh, spring. I love the boho look about it. So I thought for a spring pillow, 
And then this one, um, I don't like the pattern so much, but I think I'm actually going to recover this in uh, farmer's uh, pattern. So I really love these pillows. And that day when they were closing, everything was a dollar. So not a bad find for those pillows because just the filling is that much. Um, then I went to... Was it the Salvation Army? I'm trying to remember. I think it was the Salvation Army. Anyways. Uh, I Yes, it was at the Salvation Army. So I picked up this pillow. Um, I love this mustard yellow for fall time. It was through 99 but I had a discount that day. And if I wore my glasses, I can kind of show you. But it was, yes, it was on sale because I had uh, discounts that day. I just thought I love this color and it's brand new. Uh, of course, I'm very picky when I buy these things. Now, the Sunflower Sister, you know, she had just brought those in because she wanted to sell. That morning, they had everything was a dollar. So, an amazing deal, especially the Pioneer Woman pillow. And I have Jingles in here trying to eat my pillows. So, yes, that right there. And the next item, I just picked up this fall looking blanket. Look at these two together. I just love these two colors, especially this side. So I picked these up. The blanket was uh, $3.99, and of course, I got a discount on it. And you all know me. I cannot leave a sale without picking up my little golden books. And that day, they did not disappoint. So I got quite a few of them. Um... At some point, I'm really going to have to catalog these and see which one that I have and which one that I don't. I just love, I don't know, there's something about little golden books. To me, it's, look how cute that is. Um, they're, it's not because of money-wise or whatever. I just love the little golden books. Just love them. So, I'm going to save all my receipts here that I can. So, that's where I'm at with that. And then I returned yesterday to my um hillcrest collection i will have to take you there one day and show you the store it is in um where is it oh, platte city kansas and um i actually picked up this bag and i'm going to use it for work um i seen these sell resell on poshmark some at a mark for 55 to 15 to 20 dollars and i paid four dollars and they have weird prices too. Four dollars and fifty cents. Okay, I'll have to show you who is bothering me today. But this little sweet pumpkin head. Hi. Oh, I'm getting kisses. Hi. What are you doing? She just just wants to tag along all the time. It is a um, aeropostal bag, and um, I just love it. So I'm probably going to be carrying this bag around. She is all over my stuff. Let me go. And what is the one thing that I pick up is rolling pins. And this one was $1.50. Um, one side is kind of tight, but I thought it's not a big deal for decor purposes. I'm going to tie it up. And I just love collecting my, my rolling pins. For some reason, I find them everywhere we go. Um, I picked these up because this lady... Um, in Western Missouri makes these out of recycled paper this is not for resale this is for my own and there are Christmas ornament and I love the fact that she even makes envelopes out of them and she um, makes these and they were she wanted three dollars each and they marked them for 50 cents and I had a little discount yesterday as well so how cool is that to pick these up they're very um, they're homemade and I love that about that uh, the next item I picked up was this, this little sign, which is totally Kansas. There's no place like home. So I just picked this up for $1.50. I'm not going to resell this, but I will attach this to one of the wreaths that I will be making. Um, the next thing I bought this bag, it was $3.50. It is a Kipling um, bag. Um, these can go in the top of like $20 or so. Um, I've had great success in selling these i love the orange color for fall so i went ahead and grabbed it yesterday and the next thing for a dollar fifty is this pandora bag and i've seen these sell on poshmark for like twenty dollars so i picked it up 
in a little basket. I'm, I'm needing a little basket at my work to just add things to it. So I picked these up. And I forgot how much I spent there. It was $16 total. Interruptions today. So yeah, I love the inside of this bag and I'm going to use it for that. Okay, so of course the next items are from the auction. If I'm mixing some stuff, I will tell you I forgot it while I'm showing this. Um, went to the auction yesterday. This was in a box, brand new. It is a floor sweeper. Oops, just dropped some stuff out of there. Um, it's a floor sweeper. Um, it doesn't acquire any batteries or anything. And um, I don't know how much they sell for, but I picked it up. I will link it below, but it was brand new in the box. So why not? I thought that would be a great item to just pick up. And that's how my sale started at the auction yesterday. So um, this box cost me a dollar. And unfortunately, it rained and they don't take anything in because they would have to take a humongous uh, um, stuff inside and they just don't have the manpower for that. So the boxes got wet, but these dishes, I thought they weren't too, too bad but I'm just going to take them out of the boxes. I picked up this Christmas plate and this is all included in this dollar and I'm going to take it out actually. Look how beautiful, can you all see it? Look at all the details in this plate. It is a great plate for a dollar. Um, I'm actually going to keep the boxes. I'm going to throw this. I want to make some noise. So um, just this plate alone if I sell this for a dollar, I would have made my money back. So um, I just love buying these. Um, they're beautiful on the counter. You put cookies in it. Hey, this is so inexpensive. I can fill this up with cookies or even put like um, do a nice platter to bring to a party and tell the hostess this is yours. You can keep the platter, you know, anything like that. So I thought that was a great buy for that piece right there. And then the next item that was there, it wasn't plastic. I took the plastic off. It, it still tarnished a little bit. But it's this tray, um, it's just an embossed tray. Again, um, I like using these for um, with my cloche. So I, I, it was in the box, so it's not like I have a choice. When you buy a box, you buy the entire box. The next thing was this bowl, all beautiful crystal. So I, I'm thinking maybe this is from Home Goods. I don't have my glasses, so I'm gonna open it up real quick here. Okay. Wow. What a beautiful bowl. These look like a pansies flowers at the bottom. Again, another bowl that you can take to a barbecue or whatever. Um, if you, you know, know somebody that's having an anniversary, put some fruit in there, bottle of wine, two glasses, wrap it up, bring it to them as an anniversary gift. Things like this, when they're that inexpensive, you can just do a bunch of stuff with them. So um, I don't know if this was brand new, but I know it was in the box. It looks a little dirty, but just wash it. And there we go. We have a beautiful platter in our midst. Now I have two visitors, Lily and Jingle. So they're probably going to come and bother me. <sighs> we'll see. The next one came in a box as well. Like I said, I'm just going to show the boxes over there. Um, either I can sell these or like I said, give them back as gifts. This is a really nice pattern. I totally see a cloche on here. Gorgeous, gorgeous pattern on this. Um, not bad for a dollar box. Watch out, girls. <laughs> so I have some on the top here. Um, this was in a different box, though, so I'm going to put these down. This was a different box, so I should have done a better job. Oh, I see my glasses. <laughs> so I'm going to wear my glasses. Hold on, guys. Oh, you messy girls. <laughs> she wants that pillow with the pom-pom so bad. I can see. Uh, out of the plate box, there was this huge white plate. Um, you can write something on here to put in a hut, or you can use it during Thanksgiving or whatever. I just thought it was a nice buy, being that it was in that box for a dollar. And then the last thing for the box... Here's another one. It's a Christmas tree with candles. It looks like candles lit up. So beautiful plate. Again, cookies, bring it to a party. 
give the old sister plate as a gift. So the next box was a smaller box. I don't quite remember, excuse me, everything that was in that box, but I saw these chicken. These sell for like up to ten dollars this one does it have a chip no this one does not have a chip on it but green and uh, amber color are all uh, cottage core colors so um, I picked up the box and that was in there so an, a bonus for that and then this one looks let me see it looks like a chip but it's not chip it's the way that the it is not chip so it is a, another chicken um, in the amber color, which again, cottage core farmhouse, this would fit perfectly in a kitchen hutch. We'll put them up there. Um, these are uh, ceramic. It says Merry Xmas Mom, something wrong. I don't know what that means, girls. And there are two of the celery plates. This one has a little chip on it, but I don't think it'll matter. I'm probably going to put them together. I think for fall, this is pretty, or even for spring. Um, they were in the box for a dollar, so there we go. So these are from the auction. And I had my paper for the auction, and I misplaced it. Of course I did. So the next things that I picked up at, they're up there. I'm going to go get it. So this was, every time it goes up a little bit with my um, my uh, auction, this time I spent $47, for, uh, $47.86, but really it was $43, $47 after taxes. Um, this, okay, so when I picked up this item, the sweeper, I paid a dollar. But it was everything left over. There is actually a suitcase in my vehicle still that I need to look through. Um, I know there's a hand, a wax, paraffin wax in there. And there are a bunch of little teddy bears in the suitcase itself. And it was a dollar. So that's when I bought that. I only wanted the sweeper. So uh, next is saying a box. I'm not quite sure. Um, this box right here of hats was two dollars okay it came with the box but the box has seen way better days so of course the box will probably have to go but i was intrigued by the inside look at these vintage hats how cool is that this one says 69 i'm not sure if it was for an auction or whatever then this one here, I love, love, love them. How cool are these? And the entire box. So I got three hats for $2. And I've seen these. Some people like to decorate with these. And actually in vintage stores, they like to buy these. So um, I can never say I buy things for selling <laughs> because I have a hard time letting go. But this was not a bad deal. And the name is all gone on this one. But how cool is that plus the hat box and there's a little oh there is actually a a corsage in here two vintage corsages silk flowers and let me see if there's a date on this thing it says welcome gutters help keep home dry okay there's no date on the paper so the box itself, it has, like I said, as seen way better days. Ooh. And dirty in there. Ooh. Anyways, um, either I will try to sell these or, um, you know, I always, I think these things are great. And if I don't sell them, there's always a drama club at, at the school. But I'm pretty sure these are going to sell pretty quick. So the entire box was $2. So let's see here. Oh, and this next item, um, I let's see here. What was it? I washed it. Did get that? Okay, the shelf. This was two dollars. Um, I don't know. There's no price on there. What does it say? It doesn't say 
where it's from but i think probably hobby lobby or them sell this i can probably get 15 dollars for this at my shop in my little store so i just thought that was kind of cool it, it says cottage core all over the place and farmer's market i'm probably going to leave it as is except give it a nice cleaning and that's about that for that and the next item that i bought with that that was two dollars and it is so heavy you guys it is this cabinet sorry okay it is so heavy it is unbelievable um it has two cute little shelves in it and it is super i mean it is heavy for two dollars um i am actually going to give it a coat of cleaner with wax and i am actually going to sell this as is um, they made a hole in the back to hang it on the wall. I will not attach anything to this. I'm just going to leave it. It is pretty big. It's a big piece. And for $2, um, I'm going to have to look this up. I can probably get up to $30 for this thing. Because it is a primitive cabinet. So, I am going to regroup and I'm going to bring more items in. a little hot I've been running in and out of the house so um the next item that I picked up at the auction and it wasn't a it was in a box but the box was wet it's a Dr. Scholl wax melter where you can put your hand it was brand new unfortunately these people put the wax in the machine not the right way <laughs> I can tell this already so I would have to melt everything down and take everything out, but I just saw they were selling a used one on eBay for $50. So um, I had one of these and I actually loved uh, doing my hands, especially, you know, in the winter when they get dry. Um, don't know what I will do with this thing yet, but it, at the instruction and everything, it was brand new in the box and that was buy it all. That's what it was. It was in the buy it all thing. So I kind of got stuck with it. <laughs> But I thought, well, if I don't use it, maybe I could just bring it to the school for the teachers to use, like just for a spa thing. So, and they have gloves that you wear. So, um, this was just two books that I picked up and was uh, to be thrown away. And they're both dated in the 1930s. So, um, you all know me with my old books. I just thought these were kind of cool. So I just wanted to throw these in here, not an auction item. Now books for the auction item, I did pick up an entire box of books i'm actually going to save this for the last thing and i will just in case you're not interested in seeing all of them it is an entire box so just in case you're not interested in seeing each one of the books i will save that for the end and just uh, do it to music like i kind of did with the patterns but they're all a doctor um, and they're all old um i don't think they're all little golden books but um so excited to look through this box right here um this was with the chickens the, the amber and the green chicken it's a whole kettle it's kind of what i wanted the box for i think this is the box yeah i think this was it uh, that was in there um what a nice little pot to clean up there's a hole so it's not usable somebody had a plant in it i think i'm just gonna do a nice fall arrangement on here i thought that would look really cool i love the color um, I just thought that was neat to have for decoration. So, yeah, I really love that. Um, the next box, um, they had uh, some seashells in there. Kind of cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with the seashells. but. And then the sweeper. I did look up the sweeper. Like I said, I had the instruction. They can sell up to $20. So not a bad deal for a dollar plus I had the whole lot. So yeah, that I found that. Here's another bag for that show thing. This was a dollar for the box. Um, somebody sell, said it was milk glass. I don't care. I just love the fact that there are three mixing bowls and they're all different. This one is an Hamilton Beach from Racine, Wisconsin. And the bottom bowl is just a white bowl, but I just love the color bowls. And 
I'm just going to display them. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell them, but I just like them. I'm going to throw the box away. And then there was this little, kind of got dirty, this honey and me little love pillow. It's always cute to have these little things here and there. So, um, this is from that auction. And I'm not quite sure because, um, the first thing was the all left and then it was a box that says for a dollar. I'm not quite sure what I bought next. But then as I go, everything is like, uh, something was, the box of books was $3. So that's not a bad deal. And then, you know, I picked up a couple of boxes at the same time. I think this was $2. I'm not quite sure. It's just one of those, um, stamp little drawers again, a smaller one this time. I just love picking these up. I think they're kind of neat looking. So I did get that at the auction. And this fishing net, um, I'm doing a display. I've been working on it for years. <laughs> I really have been just picking up items here and there. And I've been wanting a net. I'm actually going to cut this because the wood is really bad on this side. It's all dried up. But I'm actually going to cut it because I really just want to put this in the box with some stuff out. Um, hopefully I'll be done that pretty quick now. I've been looking for a net. That's what I've been looking for. And I think the fishing net, did they put it as a fishing net? I think it was a dollar. I'm not quite sure. Oh no, yeah, it was a dollar. So I picked this up and like I said, that's gonna go for my little display thing. And then I picked up this bag. Um, Inside to me it looks like vintage. Um, let's go take it all out. I'm gonna make noise, guys. Spiders. It's like a one of those. Oh, here it is. Now I can lift it up. It's pretty nasty looking. I'm gonna take the whole rope off. Anyways, I wanted to show it to you, but I can't take it out. <laughs> It's one of those camping things. Watch me knock myself out. And I just thought it look the bag looks dirty. I think if you wash it and inside of this, wow, it's really stuck in there. You get the concept. Inside there's more pots. So as you pull it out, um, you have all of these things that make pots and pans and this is the pan and I guess you somehow put it on here anyways and it makes a pan and he has the lid and they're brand new the only reason why I got them is because they're brand new and I thought what a great thing to buy for camping and it is looking pretty vintage to me I've never seen that before so of course I picked that up why not? I don't know. Something attracted me. It was the colors. Then I picked up this crate. Uh, this was actually a friend of mine's um, uh, row. And here is a couple of um, cross stitch stuff in a bag. But what I picked up this item for was for this. It's an old butter churn. All I need to do is find a jar. And I've seen those jars. I've been wanting one of these. Um, a brand new one can go over $100. But um, it's a little stuck. It needs a little TLC. But just for display, I don't care. Because I really don't want to use it. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I think the crate, excuse me here, was $2. But I really didn't care. Then there's this little... Um, vintage retro napkin holder this metal bowl i love these to plant flower here a whole jumping rope and um oh i didn't see those this is just a uh, trash <laughs> and then there is a 23rd psalm and then there's some pulleys how cool are these now this I can probably sell or are they wheels. It don't matter. They'll still sell. They're kind of neat looking. And then this very old breaking apart pulley. But some people like to display a plant on here. So I just thought, well, I might be able to get my money back for this. And then there's a jar filled with um, a bunch of stuff that I don't know. And I really don't care. 
but it's all in this jar right here so not not too shabby for two dollars because i know how much these sell for i just want to clean it up and get me a jar so i'm gonna have to carry this thing around when i look and see if i cannot match those items and here is an empty crate so there's more you guys i'm almost done with this haul also um i forgot Oh, that goes with this box. It was in this box coming up. It's just a little shelf that you put on the counter. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing yet. But but I bought it because I saw these. And I don't know why I bought this. Probably not even vintage. But I just thought it was kind of cool. It's an ambulance. <laughs> um, why I bought this is not why I bought this. But that was in there as a bonus. So, doesn't it run? No, it's probably no batteries in it yet. But anyways, it's in a good shape. I mean, for a kid at Christmas time. But what I bought it for was because of this old bag of Wonder Bread barbecue enriched buns. I bought the bags probably worth money. <laughs> I bought it for this little um, Wrangler. A horse thing with jig and this circle something ranch and this one has the truck with it so I just I don't know guys I just picked it up because you know why not you know so I picked that up and I think that was a dollar too so and um, a bunch of teddy bears like I told you I'll show you Gotta move stuff around just to show you stuff. Woo! Okay. It's a rolling suitcase. And it was with that dollar lot. This was all included. Um, I haven't seen how much American tourists go, but it has the four wheels underneath. But inside of here, there's a bunch of uh, Thai bears and stuff like that, which I'm probably gonna donate. And it's a really nice suitcase. Um, you know, um, I like to get them, make sure that they're cleaned up in case I use them. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or what I'm going to do with it, but it wasn't that dollar lot thing. Last but not least, and I know you all see it behind me. Oh, sounding awful lamp. <laughs> okay, so let me put the camera up like this a little bit. So the last but not least is this little wash stand. It has a little door right here. It's in really good shape. It does have the dove uh, edge on them. And it looked like somebody really tried to keep this piece around the door. Of course it's around the door. What am I doing wrong? Um, I did something wrong. It does fit because I saw it last night. Anyways, it goes in there. They really do fit. And put this one here. Oops. And then the top. On top. There we go. It's a really neat wash stand. I paid $20 for it. Let me show you. The top is beautiful. The, the drawers, they go in. I don't know why it's not fitting right now. And then the little drawer right there. It looks like it needs some TLC around the legs, but that's not a big deal for me. So that's where i'm at right now with this uh little stand that's why my price was 47 dollars. if not i would have only spent 27 which would have been a good night for me but when i saw this and um it wasn't going up and i said the last bit i think was 15 and it goes in increments of five and i said 20 
and so so there we go um, I don't think I would have gone higher than $20 for it um, I'm not sure if what the resale for these are but I thought that was a really good deal so thank you so much for watching I hope that you like these auction treasure finding days because like I said school is starting tomorrow so I will be kind of restricted on how much time I have on my hands especially getting up at five o'clock or 4 30 in the morning so thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I'm posting different videos I have my fall craft fair going right now I hope that you enjoy those videos and more DIYs and with this channel you never know what you're gonna get but there's one thing for sure I bring things home I bring it with love and I bring it to life thank you so much for watching I will see you next time Okay, so thank you for staying for the end to see what's in the book bag, the book box. Um, I'm just gonna turn the camera around and I'm not I'm not gonna be able to say all of the dates because I'm just gonna go through them. No. But um, here we go with this video. still the same that Betty Crocker book from the 1950s I already have ideas what I would love to do with that so I hope that you enjoyed this second part of the this video all of the books and I will see you next time